Hello everyone, Jeff is here again. Okay, so in today's tutorial, we are going to be discussing about the VLOOKUP. Stay to the end of this tutorial because you are going to fully understand how you can use the VLOOKUP either when you are having little data or so many data on your Excel. Before we jump in, if you've actually been following us on our tutorials, this is now the right time for you to hit that subscribe button. But if it is actually your first time, hit the subscribe button turn on the notification and wait for more Excel tutorials that will actually help you become more advanced in Excel. All right, guys, let's jump in. All right, so we are going to be looking at the VLOOKUP in Excel. These are my data I'm having. VLOOKUP is actually calculating your data, but this time around vertically, not horizontally. It is actually vertically, so that is why it is called VLOOKUP. All right, so we are going to be doing all of our calculations and the whole functions using the whole data vertically this is my data that i'm having here now i'm having my items having the batch having the quantity and the cost so what i want to actually do here now which is using the vlookup is here i'm having my watches i want it in a way whereby when i actually change this maybe I'm, i put in a laptop here this is actually going to change automatically instead of me to maybe put in laptop here then i also come down here and then search for the laptop this is for laptop here which is $120. All right. So I could then come here and put in $120. No, I don't want it that way. So now I'm going to be using the VLOOKUP. It's actually going to make my work easier. All right. So how do I do that? Now I'll come here. All right. So we're going to be putting in the VLOOKUP function here now. So putting out equal to first and then type in VLOOKUP. Now this is it here. So for us to actually put in this inside here, you just tap on your tab on your keyboard good it enters there so the first one is the lookup value so this is our lookup value we'll tap on it then put in our comma and then we have table array now this is our table array so i'm just going to highlight our table array good then we put in comma so take notes why we're actually inserting any of those values there we're actually putting the comma so we can move to the next one so the next one now is the column index number we're having four here one two three four so this is it here we just put in four put in your comma and then the range lookup now the range lookup to always use is zero so i'll put in my zero and then i close the bracket then i hit enter now this is it laptop 120 dollar let's confirm that this is it here laptop 120 dollar correct so now let's say i want to change this now which is the lookup value let's say i want to change it to sofa hit my enter this is it here. It changes this. Now, this is it. So far, $145. This is it. $145. All right. So, this is how we can actually use the VLOOKUP. All right. So, now let's see some other examples on how we can actually use the VLOOKUP in Excel. All right. So, we're having this data here the item, the cost, the quantity, and the total. So, now the item, what item are we going to be using now? Let's use um, shoes. Shoes for as our item. Then the cost. Now the cost. This is where we are going to be using the VLOOKUP. We are going to be putting the VLOOKUP value now. Equal to VLOOKUP. Tab, your tab. So the lookup value. We tap on this. Put in a comma, and then the table array. This is our table array. Highlight this. Put in the comma, and then the column index number, which is this right here one two three the fourth one so tap on four then the range lookup like i said always use zero and then close it and hit enter now this is it shoes 50 this is it 50. now this is the cost now how about the quantity so let's say the quantity we want it as um okay so let's say the quantity this is the quantity right here seven so put in seven then the total now the total is going to be the cost multiplied by the quantity. So equal to the cost multiply by the quantity. Then hit enter. Now this is it, 350. So using the shoes, this is what we actually got. All right. So let's now see how we can actually use the watches. All right. So after putting in the watches, now I want you guys to complete this 
and drop your answer in the comment section. I want you to give me the total in the comment section. Let me see if you actually got it. All right. So drop your answer for the watches in the comment section. After putting the watches, the cost, you come here, put in the VLOOKUP value and then quantity and total. All right, guys. So I want this to be in the comment section. So do not worry about this data. I'm going to put it in the description where you can easily download it. So watch out for it there. I want to get the total for this item, which is the watches. All right. So let's see some other things we can actually do using the VLOOKUP. So the next we're going to be looking at is the VLOOKUP and data validation. So how can we possibly use this VLOOKUP and data validation? Now, what does it actually mean for the data validation? This is actually going to help us that we do not need to type in our item. So all we just have to do is to just select it from the list. All right. So this is where I'm going to be putting in my data validation. So after clicking on this, I'll come to my data. I'll go to data validation, which is this here. I click on it. Now, allow under the validation criteria, allow any value. No, I'm going to go for list. Right, this is my list. I click on my list. Then this is the source. I need to get my source from which they can actually give me the list. Then I'll just click on this here. I'll highlight my source data, which is this one. And I come here, click on this. Now it is now here. All right, so then I click on OK. Now it has been inserted. Now I look at this drop down arrow here. When I click on this, I will get the options for all my items. All right, so now let's say I'm going to be picking one. Let's say the phones. Good. Then I'll come over to my cost now. So my cost, this is where I'm going to put it in my VLOOKUP value. So I'll put in my equal to first, then type VLOOKUP. All right, so this is it. For it to insert, do not forget always tap on your tab and then it goes in. So after putting that, my lookup value is the next. This is my lookup value. This is my comma, table array. I'll highlight my table array, comma, then column index number, which is four, comma, my range lookup, zero, and then I close the bracket. When I close the bracket, I hit my enter, and this is it. It has entered phones. Now let's confirm if it's actually 200. I should trace it here. This is it, phone 200. Now, the quantity. What will now be our quantity for the phone? The quantity is four. So I'll come here, I'll put in four. Then I'll move over to my total. Now, the cost and the quantity, which is the cost multiplied by the quantity. I'll come here, put in my equal to, tap on the cost, then times. The quantity hit my enter, which is 800. So now let's say on the phone we then change this to maybe shoes. So it's now going to change the cost and the total. So the quantity for shoes, which is this here, shoes seven, I can sign now to come here and change it to seven. I hit enter and then it multiplies it and gives me my total. So this is just the easy process and how we can actually go about using the VLOOKUP and this is how the VLOOKUP can actually work. So even if you're a beginner or you're trying to understand how to use VLOOKUP, this is the best tutorial for you to learn and practice. And believe me, when you're done learning this, you are good to go on using VLOOKUP. All right, guys, do not forget, hit that subscribe button. I know you really enjoyed this video. And do not forget, drop your answer for this in the comment section. So I'm going to be putting this data all right, so you can be able to download this data in the description. Just go to my description and then you see it there where you can actually download this data. And like I said, you can try this using those data. All right. All right. If you'd like to learn more about some basic formulas in Excel or how you can actually advance your skill in Excel by learning some of the formulas, just tap on the next video and I'm going to take you through the step by step on how you can do this stuff. All right, guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video.